Hello Melee Gamers, Wildai here and welcome. My previous video has shown a practical examples of animation abuse and today I'm going to describe in detail why is animation abuse unpopular and how can we solve this issue. If you haven't seen the previous video, I suggest you to do so. The obvious result of animation abuse is anger. However, there's many reasons why players get upset. To find out the solution to animation abuse, we need the exact reasons. For that purpose, not only I have carefully read all the comments on the previous video, but I went a little further and created a little survey on Mordhouse subreddit. All the information I have gathered can be summarized into four major reasons why players dislike animation abuse. When you finish watching the video, you can let me know in the comments if my solution is good or if you have a better idea. The first reason is exploit hating. Some players believe that animation abuse is not intended by the game and it's unfair exploiting of the game's mechanisms. This may be true to some degree, as it's a byproduct of a complex combat mechanism and it's not primary goal. However, the fact is that it's part of these games since their release and developers are aware of them and they never took any action to remove them. Some exploits got restricted, for example rainbow drags in chivalry. Solution was simple, to restrict the vertical axis for attacks, but it's not that simple for the rest of the animation abuse. The second reason is that players are unaware of these dark arts, which is frustrating because they have hard time learning to play against them or do them. Tutorials in all melee games only provide information about the very basic things like feints, morphs, repose, kicks and jabs. In the very first chivalry, there was no mention about swing manipulation in the tutorial at all. In Mordhau, there's only one sentence dedicated to swing manipulation. There's one more thing about parrying. It only lasts a short while. The way you turn your hips can make your weapon hit sooner or later. This can be used to great effect to throw off your opponent's timing. Try to block three of my strikes as I turn in and out of them. Good. In Chivalry, you are practicing drags and excels, so every player is at least aware that something like that exists. And swing manipulation is not something I could consider dark art, that's just the gateway to advanced techniques. There's even more advanced and unknown tricks that are used in Mordau and Chivalry and nobody points them out in the tutorial. And that's where the anger of new players comes from, because they don't have chance to learn this stuff. Or do they? This is a complicated question I will answer after the third reason. The third reason comes from players who are actually good gamers, but at other genres. When you play Counter Strike and you switch to Valorant, you're practically playing the same game. Similarly, it's not that hard to switch from League of Legends to Smite or Dota, for example. Even if you played video games for your whole life, it's impossible to carry over any gaming experience and knowledge to melee slasher games from other genres. The only games that could prepare you for Chivalry and Mordhau were Age of Chivalry, War of the Roses and Chivalry Medieval Warfare. So even if you are a challenger in League of Legends and you come to Mordhau with no melee slasher experience, you are going to get destroyed. This might be a frustrating experience for players who have high expectations of themselves. You can also feel that this is very closely related to the second reason, lack of knowledge from tutorial. Players will pass the tutorial and think they're gonna destroy everyone, but that's not the case. A moment ago I raised a question, do new players have chance to learn this stuff? And now I will answer. Melee games are difficult, learning curve is steep and even after finishing the tutorial you still suck. And what about the stuff that's not even included in the tutorial? These games are difficult on their own and animation abuse is just an extra step that makes player quit. But this is where I have to talk about Chivalry and Mordhau separately. In Chivalry, players can hold block, which allows casual players to somehow defend themselves even against better players. You don't need much skills to enjoy Chivalry. If you just want to play every now and then, you're good to go. Animation abuse can happen in team objective, but when it does, you can just take some damage, lose stamina and you're good. In contrast, Mordhau forces players to block perfectly which is difficult for new players. That means that new Mordhau players need to improve in order to participate in the game and they are forced to get better in a very uncompromising environment where mistakes are common and lethal. Combine general difficulty of melee games, Mordhau's harsh environment and animation abuse 
and it's a nightmare for a casual player. More experienced players will tell you it's a skill issue and you should get good. And well, yes, that's true. It makes sense that you can't beat someone who has 1000 hours when you just started, but the problem is that it's difficult to even get better. You have to be highly motivated and patient, and most casual players are not. They want to come home from work, drink desperados and chop heads. That's something you can easily do in chivalry, but not Mordhau. After 100 hours of play, you might be able to block most attacks, but you'll still fall for the animation abuse you didn't know even existed in the first place. That's the reason why I even recommended chivalry to some new Mordhau players who were struggling. Back in the day, this was a real issue. After Mordhau was free on Epic Games, there was a lot of new players and it's a rare occurrence to see animation abuse ruining other players' experience. Also, Mordhau offers fun in a lot of other stuff than just pure combat. For example, its unique social interactions which I'm talking about in two videos I have created. Feel free to check them out. However, I'm not here to compare these games because it's impossible to say which one is better. Both games have their pros and cons and players have different preferences. Fourth reason why animation abuse is disliked. Players with this opinion are disappointed because they did not expect these things to exist. They came here for some pure and exciting sword fighting but the game's trailers set them up for disappointment, because the reality is different. Both Chivalry and Mordhau trailers try to convince new players that the combat is smooth and there are no ugly animations and ballerinas like in Chivalry Medieval Warfare. In Mordhau's devblock video, the catchphrase fights that look like fights was popularized by Stouty after he pointed out combat mechanics that shouldn't be in the game. The combat is the absolute core of this game. It is something we've prototyped and tested over more than a year to make sure it is designed to encourage fights that look like fights and not ballet auditions. Similarly, Chivalry promised no spins as well, but here I am I with 10 minutes of spinning showing Chivalry animations that were and still are possible to do today. But this is not only about spins, it's about drags, axles, hiding animations and more. It's about the feeling of combat, whether it makes sense to a casual player or not. If you come to play the game based on trailer, I think chivalry is far less disappointing. Fights in chivalry definitely look how they appear in the trailers. The combat revolves around counters and fates, which are quick and exciting. Overall, chivalry is more appealing to casual players who want to chop heads, have fun and not be frustrated. Mordhau's combat can look realistic too, until drags, axles and etc are starting to show up. Animation abuse makes a lot of casual players unhappy. However, if we removed advanced combat system to get rid of it, we are back to Mountain Blade Warband or Skyrim. Animation abuse is created as a byproduct of complex combat system. This means that having no complex combat system equals no ugly animations. User Seath has accurately captured this problem in his comment on my previous video. Having such wide skill ranges and complexities in these games are what makes them different and playable to someone of any skill and allow for grand displays of technique and finesse. There wouldn't be any room for growth and no one would want to get better if the best you could get was attacking, blocking and maybe chambering your opponent better than they can. Demonizing swing manipulation and learnable tricks is just going to set us back in the genre. You'll end up with one repetitive combat flowchart for all first person melee games. Yes, for the whole video I've been objectively criticizing animation abuse, but I also have to objectively say we cannot get rid of it. It would be difficult to remove it and it would remove the game's depth which allows players to improve. Instead of fixing this problem directly, we can try to minimize the reasons that make players angry. One possibility is to offer easier defensive tools. This was done already by Chivalry and that was Held Block, which helps casual players participate in combat easily. But I also have another idea. I think it would be good to introduce new players to the combat system in all its beauty. Tutorial in my eyes would not only include basics like feints, morphs, kicks and jabs, 
but also slightly advanced stuff like swing manipulation, body animations and even more advanced stuff like footwork, bending animations and using them to confuse the enemy. This will help the community believe that it's not an exploit and it will send a message that developers are aware of these things and they accept them as part of the game. Although I must admit that I have no idea what is the attitude of developers towards these dark arts. However, making an advanced tutorial will also help everyone to learn and practice. Everyone will have a fair chance to learn all these games mechanisms without any gatekeeping. However, this is not an easy task and it also has some downsides which I'm going to talk about now. It would be incredibly difficult to create a tutorial that includes all high level stuff, but it's not impossible either. Disgusting animations and other weird mechanics are usually invented by the community over time. Most veterans in this genre are familiar with advanced mechanisms, footwork and animation control. Developers could reach out to these players to help them explore their combat and create a proper tutorial that would prepare players for anything. I don't think this sounds too fantasy, because Chivalry 2 had actually a small group of veteran players who could talk closely with developers and provide feedback on anything. Even I was part of this group, until it was cancelled due to veteran players leaking inside information and breaking NDA. Still, this would have one big disadvantage, and that would be missing out on exploring the game. A new player would be given so much information that there would be nothing new for them to discover in the game. Sounds very boring. Additionally, this would probably be also too much on a new player. Some players are happy to get their block and repose. When they have a good day, they can do some feints. But learning stuff like animation hiding and swing manipulation could be too much and could discourage players from playing the game right in the tutorial. Perhaps you could have two tutorials, one basic and one advanced and players could choose to take it. However, this would give new players no right to complain as all the information would be at hand. To summarize this video, animation abuse is a byproduct of complex combat system. It gives the game more depth and provides new things to learn and get better at. Removing animation abuse would be very difficult and it would result in combat like Skyrim or Mountain Blade. Players dislike animation abuse because it's an exploit of the game, it's unrealistic and it's in conflict with game's trailers. It's difficult to learn especially when the game doesn't provide a proper introduction. The best idea I have had is to solve the problem as follows. The developers should realize what their complex combat system allows and they should prepare new players for these options. It would be difficult but should be possible with the help of veterans and experienced melee gamers. A little bit of experimenting with the combat system can definitely help to reveal possible animation abuse. Provided solution will help players to learn and practice these things in the tutorial. They would accept it as part of the game and they would be less frustrated. Mordau as a more difficult game will definitely benefit from this, while in Chivalry this would be a just nice touch for new players but probably not necessary. On the other hand, complex tutorial would kill possible exploration of new techniques and tricks in the game and it could overwhelm new players. However, it would be an option to anyone who would like to get better without any gatekeeping or unnecessary dying for hundreds of hours. While this sounds doable, I'm not sure about developer's attitude towards animation abuse and advanced mechanisms as I never seen developers comment on this issue. Do you agree with my solution or do you have better idea? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed the second part. I'm not sure whether there's anything more I could cover on this topic, but comments will show. If you enjoyed the video and you like melee gaming content, feel free to like, subscribe and see you next time.